doctor now for me um they wouldn't let me go oh my God. right after straight out like this <laughs> Jeez. they wouldn't let me go right after my last i started my last period they told me i had to take this month off as well because they want to try a different route i we were going to go ahead and do a uh, in home insemination, mm -hmm. which would have actually been today. Yeah, which freaks me out, actually. But um, we decided, well, I guess we just stopped, kind of stopped talking about it and time to decide for yeah. us that we weren't taking that route because we couldn't find a donor. Like, we found we found a donor that we both liked, um, and then he had like low vials. One vial. So they like make you call for availability when it's really low. And I called and she's like, oh, we've got one. <laughs> That's not helpful. Thank you. Thanks for absolutely nothing. So it was kind of an awkward conversation. I was just like, okay, bye. <laughs> she's like, uh, okay, bye. Have a good day. <laughs> awkward. <laughs> so now we're, uh, I think they're going to try to put me on like Clomid or something this time around. Because before I've just been doing the Famara. Which I don't, I don't really understand because you've had good follicles every time. Yeah, and that's what I told the nurse on the phone. Like, I don't understand that. Like, if you're going a different route because the IUIs aren't working, then... Maybe the timing is off, which I think it's all timing. I think the timing is off every time know. for yours. I think the first, I don't know. I don't know if the polyp is causing issues or... What's going on? Maybe maybe they just want more more follicles, like more, you know what I mean, like bigger follicles, more eggs. But but and only one egg is released at a time, right? Yeah. I don't I don't know. So we're gonna find out what the doctor says, and then we'll let you guys know. I suggested IVF, and she's like, well, that's kind of a drastic jump from the IUI, like. Yeah. What is in between? I guess that's a good question. What's in between? I think it's the different kind of medications, like the shots and stuff. But she said that. The IUI is a 10 to 15 percent chance, and then the Clomid, like she's been doing, she said is a 25 to 30 percent chance. So that's why she wants to try Clomid next for me, or that's what she said. I don't know what the doctor's gonna say to up the chances. And then, but then IVF is a 65 percent. Yeah, and she said IVF is a 65 percent, but we're looking at a drastic jump in the pricing which yeah. i'm real curious like they don't want to just come out and say what the pricing is like just tell me i have a question for you had you because i i know this answer for me um but it's not something people do often it's not like a normal thing i think have sex with the guy no <laughs> no no <laughs> gross it's too early for that no. um had you known the percentage beforehand would you have gone straight to ivf because if they would have told me, uh, IUI is 10 to 15, uh, you know, with Clomid, whatever, it's 20 to 30. But if IVF is 65%, like, how many times have we done this? How many vials have we bought? Like, we could have paid for probably two cycles of IVF because we're in it for what, $15,000? I don't even know yet. It's a lot. I mean, I don't know how much a cycle of IVF is. Maybe, maybe that's just one, but... I feel like instead of skipping all the little like maybe uh this might work this might work for three grand here three grand there this might work this might work like, why would why wouldn't we just go to the 65 percent right i mean i know that would sting that much more like oh this didn't work yeah. but like that's always we're kind of like money. throwing away money on a slim chance when we could have a higher you know 65 percent success rate yeah I don't know. I honestly maybe would have just started with like at home inseminations to be honest. 
Yeah. Like, we're not paying for any of this. Like, just the, just the sperm and, I don't know. I'm gonna ask flat, flat out, I'm tired of everybody jumping around the price. Like, how much is it? Like, I don't understand why people do that. Same with the root foot. I don't want to say, like, just tell me how much it is. Like, <laughs> you don't know, I might be balling out of control. <laughs> We're gonna find out and then like I said, I'm gonna let you know what their plan of action is. I do know if I go with the Clomid, it's gonna up the chances of multiples. <laughs> and we're both taking Clomid, yeah. like I don't I don't necessarily think that ups my chances as much as yours. No, I because think it does, homie. You already have healthy follicles, like big follicles. I usually even with Clomid, I only have like one or two. And we gonna see. We gonna find out. We gonna find out. All right, we pull it up now, so we are literally right on time. Yeah. So I'll let you know what they say in a minute. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, we just got home from the doctor's guys, and uh, he said that he wants to see what that polyp was that they saw on the ultrasound. So they scheduled a sauna histogram, something like that. Sauna histogram, I think. Yeah. Basically, a, a saline ultrasound. Yeah. So whenever I start my next cycle. I'll call and then they schedule this on a histogram or whatever it's called five to 12 days after um, that because they want the lining to be thin. Um, so he said that if there's a polyp there, it's a real easy surgery. They go in and chop it up is what he said. And then I would have to wait one month before starting over again. So for me, I'm looking at... Maybe if it's not, if it's not a polyp, then you just go... Yeah, the next one. if it's not a polyp and they just saw shadows, which is a possibility, then I can start right back on the next one. But if it is a polyp, then I'm looking at October before I can try again. Mm -hmm. not and I go in I September, right? Mm -hmm. She'll go in September. And he said that regardless, um, they're going to put me on Clomid this time because I've only been getting like one follicle each time. So he said that Regardless, they're going to do the Clomid on the next round, which ups the chance in multiples to 20%. He said what we've been doing the last three cycles of IUI, it had a 2 to 5% chance of multiples with the Femara, but with the Clomid, it's gone up to 20 Yeah. But he said his goal is babies, so... Failure is not an option, is what he said. And he winked at me again. And told me to keep you out of trouble. And he dyed his hair. I noticed that. Just be great, man. <laughs> All right, guys. So um, we'll let you know how that um, sauna histogram goes. I'm hoping that there's no polyp there, but if there is, then we'll deal with it. So in the meantime, thanks a lot for stopping by and watch this video. Just a favor, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget, don't forget to ring that bell. Bing! 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 Oh, you are the air I breathe. Oh, you.